Hi, good morning. I'm Beth Gully at Gully Greenhouse, and we're here today to talk about our favorite series, West Country Lupin. I'm holding here a beautiful specimen of Persian Slipper. You can see how many flower spikes grow per plant. A bit of history on this series, they're actually all Russell hybrid selections. Um, West Country Nurseries over in the UK basically selected different varieties and cultivars and then they put them into tissue culture to keep the strength and the characteristics of that particular variety. You can see here, this is a Russell hybrid in comparison. You can see the flower size, the overall plant size and vigor, which might give you a good idea of why people are interested in paying the higher input cost of the West Country series. So here I am with Terracotta, another gorgeous variety of the West Country series. So to start these bad boys, what we do is we put a 72 cell tissue culture liner directly into the two gallon pot. We plant them here in Colorado. It's probably late September, early October. Um, obviously it'll vary from growers throughout the country, but in the Northern climates, typically that timing works. Um, what you wanna do is let the plant root completely out to the edge of the pot. Um, bulking is key to these. Um, the more crowns, the more flowers. You can kind of see here, I think there's eight or nine different crowns, which means it's had some time to bulk and some time to grow cool. Um, so planting them in the fall, we keep them about 50 degree nights. And then once we see that the foliage and the roots have touched the edge of the pot, we cool them down. Um, so we put them to sleep pretty much through February. And then in early to mid-March, we actually move them right outside to the aisle here. Um, Lupin love the cold. They can handle snow. Um, they won't have their flower spikes yet, so the foliage is really resilient and can handle snow and frost um, pretty easily. And I'm here with the beautiful masterpiece. So to get these plants looking like this, our growers apply a preventative drenches and sprays in the fall. Um, we call them princess plants because lupin are susceptible to a lot of different root and foliar diseases. Um, Pythium is one that they would do a drench for in the fall. Anthracnose is a foliar leaf spot disease that they would do a spray for in the fall. Um, we also treat them with a one part per million bonsai drench in the spring just as you start to see the first buds coming. That keeps the foliage down, but it allows the blooms to shoot through and create a masterpiece like this one. So hopefully you've seen why the West Country series can be somewhat intimidating to grow, but it's actually not. Um, many different growers across the country have had major success with this series and if you need any help at all please contact us at gully greenhouse and our growers are happy to walk you through we hope that these big plants can make a big impact to your spring sales um, they can be time to hit mother's day with growing them in somewhat of a covered hoop house or like we do um, you can also time them for memorial day to kind of hit that late spring early june sales window that you might be running out of other products so I hope you gained some insightful information and thank you for your time.